always win, man. Like they have to literally kill a person, and even then, they'll get out twenty years later and start a program. <laughs> The FBI the of American St. Louis dream. offering a reward of up to $10,000 for information leading to the arrest and conviction of a man accused of attacking another man while he sat at a bus stop near the Central West End. St. Louis 11's Kelly Hoskins has more on the brutal attack. Oh, detectives say the incident all unfolded here near Sarah and Del Mar right here at this bus stop. We're told that the victim was targeted for no reason. This is video of a suspect provided by the federal. Bed of sagging like a motherfucker. That nigga whole ass up. Oh, you can just tell from the like the fucking the arm arm length ratio to the body. You know it's a son, a long arm fucking son, man. And the way he walks with such like confidence, like <laughs> like no, like he he walks like with just a. A, a, a natural stride that's just he's like just brazen, like the world, like he's like Superman in his mind, like the world can't even touch him. This is video of a suspect provided by the Federal Bureau of Investigation of St. Louis Field Office of a man they say attacked a man as he was waiting for his bus. The suspect um, was heard by by bystanders there to say um, that he hated white people, that he was going to hurt this guy. Um, he walked past other people there at the bus stop. Of course, the person was white. <laughs> Many such cases. Yeah, man. This this is wild. We on y'all ass, man. <laughs> he said, I ain't too crackle. God damn, man. We ain't giving y'all no sanctuary, man. That he hated white people, that he was going to hurt this guy. Um, he walked past other people there at the bus stop and, and attacked this individual, um, a white male. Investigators say the assault happened February the 6th at approximately 3.30 in the middle of the day on the northern edge of the Central West End. Authorities say there were other people waiting at the bus stop. Investigators say the suspect struck the victim in the face. He had a, a, a concrete brick in his hand and, and hit this individual in the head, knocked him unconscious. Um, and then proceeded to flee the scene. Those in the area say they are saddened and know the victim who is still recovering. The last shot of someone because of this kid. There's a million reasons what? for it. But you don't have none of them. Yeah, man, what language are you speaking? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, run that back. The last shot of someone because of this kid. There's a million reasons for it. But you don't have none of them. If you had one good reason to lash out at a white man or a black man, then I can understand it, but you don't have a reason. Because anybody would just pick on somebody for no reason. They don't know the people, but they're going to set up here and just torture somebody for no reason. They need to be locked up. Anyone with information should call the FBI office. Reporting near the Central West End, Kelly Hoskins, St. Louis 11 News. Man. They um, say they right. say he fled the scene. That nigga did a slow ass walk away from the scene. <laughs> right. The fuck? Yeah. He, he, the the way. He, he, he sauntered away from the scene. <laughs> <laughs> he went about his business. Yeah, he disappeared oh. like a thief in the night. Yeah, man. Um I'm exhausted, man. Salute to everybody, man. Great show, man. Shout out to all you people that supported the channel, man. Salute to the panel, man. Um, we going we gonna come back at you tomorrow, man. Hey, same black time, same black channel. I'm out of here, man. Peace out.